Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my tear tray two different ways. First is with a bee theme. Now today I want to show you it's really gloomy here. <laughs> As you can see I have to have my ring light on. I will be closing the blinds here, but I'm going to be using these items sitting here to do my tear tray with. Let me kind of go up here. You can kind of see that it is really cloudy and it is starting to drizzle here this morning. It's going to be really cool today. So I thought it'd be nice to kind of cheer things up with some bright yellow colors. So let's get started on the bee theme. Now I have this on a little turntable here as you can see and I've added all my little bee items and the ones that I've made here. So check it out. This is just for me to do this on here so I can go around the whole thing. I'm not going to leave it this way. The first thing I've done is put that little beehive that I did right here on the left side. And now I've added one of my little scrap pieces of wood that I did next to it. And I have this little uh, honey dipper thing here. I know I've done it before on my other tear trays. I thought it looked cute right there. Now I've turned it around and we're going to start on the back side. And I thought it would be really cute to put that little dimensional bee that I did and the little honey pot on the scrap wood. And now I've added a little bee on there on top of the honey. You can kind of see that. And I added another metal bee right here. So let's turn this around and see how the bottom looks. I think this looks really cute. I might change a few things. Not sure what I want to do yet. And I will be adding some greenery at the end to fill in some of the spots. I think this is looking really cute so far. So let's get started on the top. The first thing I've done is put the little Be Happy up here. And I added that little honey pot that I made. And then on the back side, I put the little Be Kind. And then I added this cute little rolling pin that says Be Sweet. So I have Be Sweet, Be Kind, and Be Happy on the top. Then I added a little metal bee up here on the very top of my tiered tray. So here's how it looks. I did decide to move that bee over there and then I added one more of the metal bees right here. And you know, if you're wondering, this is that tear tray that I made uh, a while back and I will put a link down below showing that video. Okay, now I have it with the greenery. I think it looks much better with a little bit of greenery in here. All right, and I'm also gonna show some close-ups here on each of the sections. So we'll go around here at the bottom so you can see it more close up. I really like how all my DIY B projects turned out. Okay, and here is the top. We'll spin it around. I think that little bee up there is so cute. I know you can get some of these off of Amazon. I think Timu might even have some of them. I'm not sure. All right, so now I'm gonna take the Lazy Susan off and show you how it looks on the buffet. So here it is. I did add this other little sign here that I've had for a while. I normally use it when I use my bigger tear tray. I thought it'd be cute. And I was gonna put something in the typewriter there, but I changed my mind. I think I'll just leave it like this because I gotta do another tear tray anyway. But I do love how this turned out. All right, so. Let's take everything off and let's get started on the lemon tiered tray. Here it is again. I 
taken everything off and I put it back on the Lazy Susan. Now we're going to get started with the lemon. So the first thing I put on here was that little bee zesty sign that I made and the little easy peasy lemon squeezy up top. And now I've turned the tray around and I put the other little lemon block up there and then the little squeeze the day sign at the bottom. And this is all the decor I have. So what I'm going to be doing is add a little bit of greenery here with the lemon leaves. I'm just going to be adding some lemons and some flowers. So I've added this bigger lemon right here. And then I added some of these yellow and green berries. I've also added a couple of daisies and another lemon here. And of course a little bit of greenery back there because I didn't paint the back of that and you can kind of see everything. So we're going to add greenery back here to cover up the backs of those. So let's get started in this section. Again I've added a little bit of the greenery and I got some little white flowers here and then I have my little cute balls of yellow and another lemon. Now I'm also going to be having a little bit of greenery, a lemon, and some of the white flowers right here by the bee zesty. So let's move on up to the top of the tray. Okay, so I add a little bit of greenery and I did some white and yellow flowers. And then of course we got to add a lemon and I add a little bit of white pit berries there. Now let's turn it around and we're going to work on this section. Got to have that greenery right there to start out with and then of course the little yellow balls which I love these little things. And I put a couple daisies here. And of course we got to add a lemon in here and I did a little bit of the white pit berries too. So this is all that I'm going to do to the tray. I think that this is enough. Let's kind of zoom in here so we can see this a little better. You know, you can, kind of hard to see from there. Let's turn it around a little bit. Okay, I think this looks really cute. And you can see the back sides of my things there. So you always have something pretty to look at. All right, so let's go around the tray. Spin it around here. All right, I'm going to take it off of the Lazy Susan and I'm going to do a little more decorating here on the buffet. So here's what I've done. I think this looks really cute in the typewriter. These are just a couple of pictures I got from Walmart a while back and I painted the black and the white around them. And I think this looks so cute all together here. We'll go for the other side and check it out. Now I don't know what direction I'm going to go in my dining room here because I will be decorating in here with the yellow theme. I'm probably just going to combine them because you know you can combine your lemons and your bees on your tiered tray. And I think that's what I'm going to do in here. And I don't know if I'm going to use this tiered tray in here or that really big one that I have that, you know, the trays look like daisies, but uh, we'll see. Let's check it out one more time because I'm really loving this typewriter here. <laughs> I think I might keep that the way it is. All right, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and that I could give you some ideas how to do your tiered tray, either with a lemon, a bee theme, or of course you can always combine the two. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.